What's up guys, Cloakfiend here again and today um, I kind of figured out what my problem was with the Mars Pro or with the Mars in general in my opinion or with any budget kind of UV kind of resin printer because I feel, I feel that the problem is that most people are printing kind of more detailed stuff like this which to the naked eye looks totally fine, absolutely fine, looks great, all the supports worked out but if you're printing larger stuff, especially with like large smooth areas, you're going to immediately notice these weird lines as you can see there. There's a line there, a line there, a line there, a line there, a line even up there. You know, you can see the line that goes across the whole thing there. If you look from above, you can see the line that cuts across there. And basically, what these are, you're, what you're, you're looking at the LED matrix basically, these lines, which you could compare it to the lines on this thing here. Inside, it's, it, inside each of these dots is essentially an LED and over the top of the dots is a lens and that lens is square. So basically all these lines are basically where the lenses meet but it's one mold essentially but they're like curved. I'll show you a picture afterwards so you get what I mean. And essentially the UV light just can't penetrate through the lines as, as easily as it can through where, it, where there is no lines basically and effectively wherever you put your print, your print if it crosses those lines you're going to get a line like here across the whole forehead as you can see that that's obviously where there, there was a meeting or she looks like she's got a bit of a cleft lip because she, her lip was like just off center on, on the, one of the lines there I'll just zoom in just so you can see it properly Hold on. There, so you can see you can see the line kind of going up there, 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 across there, down the middle. You can actually it's it's, it's fairly easy to see. It's much easier to see, let's say, on the other printer that I showed you before. So here you can see the grid perfectly. I did mention it before. I'm not going to talk about that one again. But let's see if you're printing something like this. This is my attempt at Ulysses. Get off. Then um. You're not going to see it really. I, I don't see it anywhere on these prints, to be honest, with on these kind of detailed prints at all. I don't. I just don't see it. So, um, if you're printing stuff with a lot of detail, I think it masks it so well that I think it's negligible almost. It's just the plain areas that suffer. And obviously, I think if your light exposure settings aren't high enough, you're actually gonna, like in this print here, you're gonna get you're gonna get holes where those grid lines meet so um someone said that and obviously i got i got a split because uh it was it was a weakness along that line of holes so um i think you increase your exposure to get rid of it i did a grid test just to see and um i think you can see the line it's it's it's, it's a very hard thing to see because look if you look at it like that it looks totally fine but then if you look at it in some other line light you can you can see the line there, line there, line there, and also across across the middle there, and then across the middle there, and across the middle there. Now they are very faint, so don't consider it like, oh my god, this print is useless, because it's totally not. It's just that it's a limitation of the printer, just like, just like here, you'll see, I think, where there was a dot, I have got a weak point, so, um, it's nothing to do with suction, people say, Oh, there's a there's a suction issue because um it's it's not really a suction issue, it's to do with those lines. So like here, you can obviously let me just show you these ones here as well. So here, you think oh it's just a suction problem, but I've had this on pretty much every single print I've tried like that. So um let me see more of these ones. <coughs> as you can see, they've all got them same problem I tried moving it about and obviously the problem just moves because I'm just moving it on the grid so it's not a suction problem it's a it's a grid problem and even solid ones like this you can you can just see the edge of it there because um, that's where it where the grid line would go down and, it, and you've got another one there so yeah I mean it's not really that noticeable I don't know if you'd call it a deal breaker or not I print larger stuff generally and um, a metal plate it as well so to have to constantly sand the entire model kind of defeats the point of having <clears throat> a high quality printer even if it is a budget printer I don't want to have to sand the entire thing it just reminds me of MakerBot when they first released their 
way of showing you how to smooth a print by essentially covering it with um, putty and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, this is the only problem. The print is perfectly decent for all other things, but I don't think you can print large stuff like this. It's just, I just can't see it happening. Anyway, I've made a little video about diffusing that light, but um, I'm going to post it later. It's quite amusing. So um, yeah, I mean, this is the quality of the of the print as it stands. So um, I don't actually see the lines over this printer. I think when you've got detail, the um, it just masks it. You can't see it that much. I mean, here it obviously failed a bit because I guess it was on one of those lines. So you're going to get a bit of failure on those lines. But apart from that, I think that's about it. I mean, I think it print is perfectly decent, but. If you want perfection and you want large smooth surfaces this printer might not be the one for you because you know you can see the, the lines. I could draw over it to show you the lines really where they are but I think, it's, I think it's easy to see. I mean you can sand them out again but you know some of them are quite deep so I, I don't want to be doing that much sanding but you can also get super glue and fill it in and sand over it to kind of solve that issue but you know if it goes into detailed areas you're going to have an issue. Anyway. That's my kind of take on uh, the problems with large resin printing with um, the budget printers. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for um, my diffusion experiments. Alright, see you later.